everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe and if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my update for the deck of planning project. So I wasn't able to film my update last month, so I'm combining them both into this video. So this is a project created by Emily over at Emily and Max and it was a project inspired by Books with Maddie. And for this project, you do need a deck of cards. And Emily created a game board that she shuffles each month that has different prompts that associate with each card in a deck of cards. The face cards stay the same, the number cards change, and you do have to keep a joker in the deck because you can get the prompt of the joker, which is, are you joking? A product you don't want to pan. I have that currently in this project. This project goes from the 20th of January to the 20th of December and you start with five products in the project and it's a rolling style project. So what I'll do is I'll make sure to have Emily's channel below and Books with Maddie and I'll make sure to link the game board below as well. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. If I've missed anything, I'll make sure to leave it below. So over the last two updates, I can roll four items out. I think potentially I'm going to see how many I have in. I may not roll in four new cards, I may roll in less, but we'll see at the end when I roll in the cards. Let's just talk about the ones I have finished. So the first one is the Jack of Hearts, and that is Random Letter Generator, and I got the letter M, and for that I've had in the MAC lipstick in New York Apple. This is the Frost formula, and I wanted to use it 20 times. So this is what it looks like perfect for this time of year for the seventh update i used it two times for the eighth update i've used it four times and i wanted to use it 20 times in total and i've now reached that goal this will be going back in my collection but i really do need to start working on this soon because it is one of my oldest ones in my collection the next one i can roll out is the eight of clubs and at that point it was hair care so i brought in the philip kingsley bond builder split end remedy it's only a little mini it is a 20 mil. I really enjoyed this product. I used it eight times last update and I was able to finish it for a total of nine uses and it's now done. I actually have this now in a full size and I'm not sad about it because I really did enjoy that. The next product is Four of Clubs and at that point it was your favourite brand. So I brought in the Charlotte Tilbury Face Palette. I just don't think this palette is great quality compared to her usual products like individual products however since using this I have actually kind of fallen in love a little bit with this palette so I wanted to use this one 10 times and the seventh update I managed to get all of my 10 uses so this is what it looks like it's got a bronzer two blushes highlight and some eyeshadows and yeah really ended up falling in love with this however I will say these are very powdery and I find hair like individual products aren't as powdery as this but yeah really really surprised myself how much I did enjoy using that and then the last thing I can roll out is for three of clubs and for that that was baked so I brought in the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers highlighter which looks like this and last update I used it four times and this update I've used it six times for a total of 10 uses and I did want to use this one 10 times. Really, really, really enjoy this highlight. It's just going to take me forever, <laughs> forever to finish. <laughs> so those are the four products I can roll out. Now let's talk about the products I have been working on. But yeah, so there's only three other ones I have been working on. The first one is for Queen of Spades and that is in it for the long haul. So I did have another lip product in before this but unfortunately it melted and broke on me so I have now got in this project the MAC Meh lipstick which is a matte formula so I want to use this one 61 times or finish it I think I'm just going to get the 61 uses because I'm close to that now and, and there's no way I'm going to have this finished before I hit the 61 uses so this is what it looks like this is actually broken now <laughs> from the base I have used it eight times last update and then 11 times this update for a total of 42 uses overall. I don't think I'll have this done next update, but I think the update after that, which will be the finale. Yeah, this will, it'll be the finale. So 
yeah, I will definitely have my uses on this before the end of the project. I can't believe we're at that point in the year where the year-long projects are actually going to be finishing in a few months. I just don't know where this year's gone. <laughs> the next one I have is the Joker. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have this, this Joker prompt done by the time this project finished, if I'm honest. Because I brought in the Quick Flick eyeliner stamp. If you know me, you know I'm not a massive eyeliner person. I've got a couple of eyeliners in my collection which are currently in projects. If I don't use them in the projects, I'm just going to declutter them from my collection because there is no point in me keeping them. I set a goal of using this 15 times, which seemed low, but for me, 15 uses on an eyeliner, it, it feels like 100 uses. <laughs> So I have used it two times last update and I've not used it at all this update. So I have a total of four uses on it at the moment. I just don't see myself reaching for this 15 times, but I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to keep trying to get some uses on it, but I can see myself decluttering this by the end of the year. So I just, I don't enjoy it. And then last but no means least, I have the Jack of Clubs, which was phone a friend. So I phoned my sister and she picked for me the Charlotte Tilbury blush in Ecstasy. It was one that she bought me a few years ago now for Christmas. And she wanted me to use it 50 times. And last update I used it three times and this update I used it four times for a total of eight uses. I have decided to get rid of this because this was all smashed and it was just causing a mess every time I was using it so I have ended up just getting rid of this and it makes it a lot easier to show you and also a lot easier to use this is one of my favorite blushes in my collection it is beautiful I have a way to go on it though am I gonna get 50 uses by December who knows we'll see but I am enjoying using it nevertheless I have three products I'm working on I think I'm gonna just gonna roll two cards in because it'll get me to the five products. I'm also conscious that I have quite a few projects that are going to be ending in a couple of months and I want to try and get as much use on all of the products I can whilst I can. So I am gonna roll in two new cards. So my cards are the office themed and I thought I would get a lot better at shuffling this year whilst I've been doing this project and I can confirm I haven't. <laughs> I'm still appalling at it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to find the jokers in here because I, I don't want to put one in, not two. <laughs> okay, so there's the two jokers. I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put one into the deck. So what I'll do on the screen is I'll put a picture of the game board for this month. And when I pick the cards, I will look at the board and you'll see my reaction to the prompts I get for the cards. So I'm just going to pick from the first one. The first one is the Ace of Hearts. This project is determined for me to have more than five products. So Ace of Hearts is add another product. So I have to put this one back and choose another card. So I'll be selecting three cards. I'm gonna put this one back into the deck. Let's hope this one isn't something like in it for the long haul because I've only got two months left. Okay, so we have the Six of Diamonds, that is blush. I'm already working on a blush, but okay, that's fine. I'm just going to put a blush in that is for like 10 uses or something, even less. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to do this going forward as well, is I'm just going to bring it in for six uses because it is the Six of Diamonds. I've seen a lot of people do it, and I think that's a pretty good idea to do it for this project. So... Yeah, I don't know what blush I'm going to choose yet because I haven't even looked, but I'm going to bring it in for six uses. Okay, another two. The next one is the Nine of Spades, not Nine of Clubs. Nine of Spades is Cities. Let's have a think about that one. I'm not quite sure what to bring in for that. And then last, but no means least, we have the Queen of Spades. What's the Queen of Spades? I swear I jinx myself every time I do this project. In it for the long haul. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't the Joker. So that's that's something, isn't it? But yeah, in it for the long haul. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna go and get products for those prompts and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have the products for these prompts. So the first one was the Six of Diamonds and that was blush. So I'm bringing in the Laura Mercier blush in Ginger. So this is a little mini, I've not used this yet. This is what it looks like. I'm not panning a blush like this at the moment. And I just thought that this was perfect for this time of year as well. So I'm going to be using that six times. The next one I had was the Nine of Spades and that was Cities. So I'm going to be bringing in the beautiful In Barcelona palette from BH Cosmetics is what it looks like. I am going to bring it in for nine uses. I'm not going to say like I need to do nine looks or anything like that. I'm trying to bring it in for nine uses. I could just use one eyeshadow nine times. I kind of just want to be able to use this nine times however I want. And then last but no means least, I have the Queen of Spades and that is in it for the long haul. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this product in until the end of the project. And I'm going to be bringing in the Huda Beauty Glowish Powder. So this is a powder I'm using every day anyway. And I thought why not bring this in because this is a very, very tightly pressed powder. It's going to take me forever to finish it. But I do have pretty good pan. But I have been using this pretty much all year. So I'm just going to keep this in until the finale in December. So that is it, that is my update, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe. If you don't already, and until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.